Hi, this is Joe again with another movie review, and I'm going to be discussing a film that I previously discussed on a topic that most people didn't talk about, which was cut scenes for movies. Uh, I didn't think it was right just to pop on the bats, and I'll pop in the scenes that were cut. Uh, so, I'm going to be, so I'm going to do an actual full review on, uh, because I didn't feel it was right that the story about the scenes that were cut. And then of course the 1982 uh, Steven Spielberg classic film E.T. The Extraterrestrial. And, and I do have your VHS uh, video to so, so you both of And not, this is the VHS because this is the DVD. And I'm not going to discuss the uh, cut scenes part because I want you to check the other video out. So please check the other video out and the see you know the scenes that were that what I'm talking about the scenes that were cut for this film. Now those of you who don't know this particular film uh, and also the, I also discussed this film in the, my Oscars biggest screw jobs uh, video because this film should have won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1982, but Gandhi beat it because it was a film based on a real person, and E.T. is more of a kid's movie, so of course, uh, I'd rather go for the put for a non kids movie. So that's what happened there. So, like I said, for, for those of you who don't know the story of E.T., you probably live in a barn or I never grew up in the 1982. I had to be like, well. 10 or almost 11 years old when this, when this movie came out. And it was uh, for a long, long time until uh, until until Titanic came out, it held the record for the highest grossing film of all time. And then go back to the time when movies cost you like five, five or six dollars to go in, seven dollars at the most of most movie theaters. So, so for a movie to have the highest grossing numbers uh, it was like packed or sold out almost at every showing uh, like I said for those who don't know the story this is a story with uh, so it's Henry Thomas uh, as, a to as the main character of Elliot and there's the, with his brother played with Robert Bernard his baby sister played with Drew Barrymore his mother Dee Wallace and of course it also has Peter Coyote in it as well and like I said, for those who don't know the story, that Elliot, with his mother and, and his two siblings, live in a house in California, and they and they, his parents recently separated. And during this time, it was like almost almost Halloween time. That's why I'm discussing this movie now in October because it is, you know, Halloween month. Uh, and of course, what well, 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 the opening sequence of the film. Shows what actually happened. It, it's a bunch of aliens come down on the ship, and they are studying the plant life of Earth. And one of the aliens having to wander off, and he's checking out the scenery of the little town. Uh, not sure what Pacific town in California they're talking about, because maybe the suburbs of LA or something like that. And this particular alien, who of course will later on be dubbed as, e as ET. Uh, he, he gets left behind by his race of people as a group of UFO buffs from, you know, from the government or CIA or, or the people who track UFOs like the X-Files or something Ch chase him through the forest and he's trying to rush back to, to the spaceship and, and they knew and the aliens in the spaceship knew that there were humans in there and they don't want to get caught so they took off and left uh, E.T. behind and, he ha and the alien having to stumble into the house on the grounds of the uh, of Elliot and his family and Elliot takes him inside and this one particular day he cuts, cuts school and I don't want to give away how those of you who haven't seen the movie and he spends an entire day with, with E.T. and on the on the DVD, on the 20th, this is the 20th anniversary uh, DVD that came out in 2002. On the 20th anniversary of VT, and they have added scenes 
from the day that e Elliot cut school and spent it with E.T. in the house. Uh, you see like uh, extra scenes in there. They were not originally in the original cut of the film, which is on your VHS. And like I said earlier in my cut scenes for movies video, which you please should check it out. There's about two scenes that were cut in there, and I'm not going to tell you one of those. You have to watch watch the other video, right? So I'm not going to go into that again. Let me hash that topic. Uh, so so what hap So what happens is is you know, eat Elliot goes to school, and that's when you have your first cut scene. And if you look close, if you pay attention, for all you Baywatch fans out there. You look for a 12 year old Elka Ininiak, who was the first blonde bombshell on Baywatch. She, she, play, she plays Shawnee on the show, and you see her, and she has almost exactly the same face that she had seven years later. I mean, she didn't age very, age uh, her face didn't change all that much. That's what body did, obviously, but, but not her face. The seven years from that ET came out and when Baywatch came on again. And of course, she was in the famous scene where Elliot kisses her. So that's who Erica Niniak was. And she became a big star on Baywatch. Uh, anyway, of course, that's you, of course, you know, uh, eventually, and they do have this big Halloween scene where Elliot has, and his brother go out trick or treating, and E.T. is in the Goshi. And the funniest scene in the whole movie, or at least the scene that got the biggest laugh, in this movie, you do have a lot of Star Wars references in this film. And the reason why you do is because Steven Spielberg is best friends with George Lucas. In the fact, they contributed together for the Indiana Jones movies. So, of course, Spielberg was annoyed that Lucas made this big, big budget movie with Star Wars. And the funny thing is that E.T. beat out the original Star Wars film as the highest grossing movie of all time. So Titanic, to Titanic came along, and of course you had the Lord of the Rings movies, and then you had, uh, you know, Avatar. So I know where ET is on this now today, 2014. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you do have our Star Wars references, and when they go have a trick or treat scene, and they're walking down the street, and here comes a kid dressed up as Yoda. So ET goes nuts, and he goes home, home, home. And of course, if you look at the prequel, or Star Wars prequels, you do see, if you look close, in the, in the Senate uh, scenes, the Senate meeting scenes, you can look close, and the bottom of the screen, you see E.T. there. So, that, so, so it's kind of like a little knock with George Lucas giving the Spielberg with bringing all the Star Wars references in E.T. And you do have an alien playing with toys, with you know, Star Wars toys, and one of the his uh, uh, brother, my older brother, Robert well, well, Nana, he, he plays, uh, he does a Yoda impression in the film. So, so you do have a lot of Star Wars, Star Wars references in, e, in E.T. So, of course, you, ha you did have uh, one controversial scene that was in the original film, but then cut out in the uh, DVD was when the mother, who was played by D. Wallace, yells at the older brother for dressing up looking with a knife with a fake knife in his head and she yells at him saying I'm not gonna let my son go out to be a terror look like, looking like a terrorist and of course when the 20th anniversary DVD came out came out a few short months after the 9-11 uh, attacks so of course Stone, Steven Spielberg went in and cut the line out son <coughs> of a bitch uh, so, so uh, anyway what, ha what happened was of course uh, E.T. and Alien both ended up getting sick because they both got well, because they both are connected, and E.T. is dying from all the diseases that he is not in, immunized from. Uh, from what? And of course, E.T. Alien is getting sick with all the radiation from E.T. And so, of course, that's when the Federal Angels come along, and the head agent was played by Pierre Coyote. And the thing that was annoying throughout the whole film is that you don't you mostly see him shot from, from his waist. You see his keys dangling from his jeans, from his belt loop. So you really don't see his face, you don't hear him say a word, you see him, uh, those 
you, you do see him. It's travel from a distance. And of course, in the in the end, when and they meet in the house, and they have this whole uh, scene set up, and most of the people in that scene were actual doctors, so they could spawn off all their uh, medical jargon to make it real, real, real authentic. Well, I think most of them, not all of them, or actually Steven Spielberg's doctors, or Steven Spielberg, or Spielberg's doctors' colleagues. Well, we're, we're, in, we're in this room, so, and so they gave all the uh, medical jargon. You know, when E.T. was dying, and of course, and I'll give it away when E.T. does die in the end, in, in this film, but it does come back to life like Peter Pan or, or Tinkerbell in the, in the Peter Pan story. And then, of course, they had this big, huge chase scene uh, with uh, Elliot, his brother, and Elliot's, uh, not Elliot's. Peter's, uh, or Michael, that, that was the name of the Peter Manonga character, My, Michael's three friends, going through like a construction site, and one of the others, all that's been up, and it goes through this big white street, and one says, hey, you made it, and the fellow guy is gathering, and says, oh shit, and, you know, and, and it was really, really a funny scene, but then of course there's one country before you see, and it was changed for the DVD version, because his fellow agents were aiming at guns, and Elliot and the, and the rest of the kids. So Spielberg added out because that's the threat. The threat and kids, you know, to shoot the kids because they have the alien and the federal agents want the alien back. or want E.T. back. Uh, so he changed it from, from rifles, and, you know, shotguns and other uh, guns, what types of guns, to walkie-talkies. Well, that's really scary, you know, that's a real threat, you know, walkie-talkies. Because when he changes the walkie talkie scene, they didn't change the audience expression. Because the audience expression is eyes are like, oh my god, they got guns, they're gonna shoot us, you know? Oh my god, they're gonna kill us with walkie talkies! You know, and you know, and you know, you know the remake. Uh, or on the 20th anniversary edition, because he did, because Spielberg did not like the fact that they shoot, eight, because he's such a liberal, a, a liberal bastard, I have to say it. That he wants to eliminate guns altogether. And put in walkie talkies. Boy, that's real scary. You know, kill kids with a, you know, scare somebody with a walkie talkie. It's scared with a gun. Now that's a scare, and that's a real threat. Not walkie talkie, that's like a whip, whip, whippy way of, of doing it. So, Spielberg, fuck you, Spielberg, for taking that, that, that scene. Uh, so, so then you have, of course, the scene in the end where we go to the forest, and that's where, of course, E.T. goes up the ramp, up, up the ship, and he leaps at the end of the film. Uh, like I said, this film does have a lot of Halloween themes in it, uh, with the trick or treat scene, and, and the thing that really took off was the Reese's Pieces. But as I mentioned in my in the cutscenes uh, video I did, uh, Reese's Pieces became a huge fan, and the thing that, that, that I did, the, the promotion that Reese's Pieces had with E.T., was the fact that if you bought like five proofs of proofs of purchase, it proofs of purchase of Reese's Pieces. You can uh, get a movie poster of ET. I actually do have that poster, uh, but unfortunately, you take it like a rip to the bottom of our shoulder. But but it's not in good shape anymore. Uh, but I still have that poster. Uh, believe it or not, but I do have a poster. I think from another promotion that's still in pretty good shape was Superman th was the poster for Superman 3 of all movies. Uh, but I do have a poster for, for E.T. and this movie because it's a huge deal that they have posters, they have I have I haven't have a spiral notebook, an E.T. spiral notebook, uh, a comb. I actually do have a comb. Uh, they had these ugly dolls. Uh, it wasn't even a, uh, it was stuffed dolls but like a uh, instead of fur on the outside like like, like whether it's a teddy bear or a stuffed dog it was like a plastic covering covering on, on the dog it was so lousy and it, it didn't even want it it, it, it was terrible I don't, I don't want to spend money on that uh, but the, when the movie became such a huge set and, and also of course everybody used to say E.T. for home uh, Copy, copy the lines from it. 
And we do want to apologize for the lousy uh, video quality on this thing. Uh, because I only have like one light bulb on, you know, on, on my on my ceiling here. And I gotta change the light bulbs. And what the hell am I gonna do that? So, so uh, I want to apologize for the bad video quality. Uh, those of you who, who are viewing this thing, but in terms of ET, there was such a huge movie, and it's still one of my favorite movies of all time. Even though. Like I mentioned this a few times in my my cutscenes video, it pretty much ruined the movie by taking those two scenes out and some of the changes that was in the, the DVD. Well, on the DVD, it ha does have some good bonus features in it. It has a 20th anniversary cast reunion, uh, which which is good. It has like, you know, the main cast and, and Spielberg sitting there in the middle, actually the big shot that he has. Um, they also have a ma making of feature you know how they meet E.T. and who was hired to, to the one with, with the long arms and, and the long fingers for E.T. you know when E.T. is fooling around with the, with the long hands and longer fingers it was actually a woman who did that uh, plus when the scene went or the drunk scene with E.T. it was actually a person who has no legs uh, like a midget like a midget with no legs you know, from like, like almost like from here down, has no legs at all. Uh, stumbling around on the floor. That's how they did that scene with the you know, the ET's uh, truck scene. Uh, but but as a film itself, I think I still think it still holds up today. And of course, one thing that does hold up is the John Williams score. In it. uh, it's still a powerful and moving score. Uh, in in the film, so if you ever catch e, you know have a chance to catch ET, uh, I cannot highly recommend it enough. And unfortunately, this movie is not on TV as much as it should. Uh, sometimes I think maybe on USA Network or maybe on Sci-Fi Channel they might might show it, but for some reason it's not on show. Regular television doesn't show movies anymore. Uh, which is a shame. Which is a shame. Uh, because it used to be on Sunday night when you used to have maybe some shows at 7 and 8 o'clock at night, or from 7 to 9, maybe some regular shows, and then from 9 to 11, you might have a movie one. Uh, or 8 30 to 11, you might have a movie one. And I think, uh, I forgot what channel used to show, show ET. I think it's channel NBC or CBS is a show ET. Uh, Especially when it was, it took a long time before I came on regular television, but uh, it's not shown anymore. And most Billboard movies are not shown on regular TV. Cable, yes. Regular TV, no. Uh, but E.T. is the one who, that should be on television more often, and it should be shown and enjoyed by everybody. Of course, actually, nowadays people will say, "Oh, it's dated because it has no computers, no internet, no cell phones, no Facebook, Facebook, Schmakebook, or no YouTube, or, or any other formats." But it is a film worth watching. And like I mentioned in my cut reviews, this the video on the old VHS. They put this. They made a special video because at that time they really were really people might gain the videos and making copy after copy and have machines they would copy make a copy of old VHS videos and so they did like a little privacy act here and this is the, the only video they actually have they have like green here you can see it's green the green and the spools and I don't know if it, the camera could pick it up but it has green in here with the spools are and it's you know the to, and it also has these, the script here, the universal script here. And I think it kind of faded over, over the years. But, but um, so we're going to have this, this video since 1988 when it came out. It came out just before Halloween, actually. Uh, so, 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 you know, because actually, of course, Halloween is a big thing, big thing in ET. So, so to have this thing is really, really a great movie to have. And anybody who does not have this particular film in their collection is not a real movie fan. So I'm a review of 
of E.T. Come Home or E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Please check it out. Uh, please rate the video. Please feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel and please scroll this video onto your Facebook pages. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.